Omaha 5 fans. So, I've been hearing that there's some trouble with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford and the fight that might not be taking place this year after all. That I believe that Terrence Crawford has a certain thing, a certain situation with the contract um, and wants certain, uh, certain things regarding this contract, I believe. And it's coming from Terrence Crawford's side, if I'm correct. And guys, I'm again. This I've talked about this prior. I've mentioned this multiple times. This is the problem with boxing. You know, I mean, I get it. You guys want all the money. You guys want whatever it is you can get as much money as you could possibly get. And that's the problem with boxing, guys. Like, come on, when is it enough? You know, we got guys who are not willing to take that 30 40 50 million dollars that they're probably going to make from this fight it's just not enough they want more and more and figuring a way where they can squeeze out more and more and more and that's very disappointing guys because we are not able to get the fights that we want to see you know these guys are not they're still in their prime but they're at the end of the prime i believe they're getting relatively close not towards the end of the career. Don't get me wrong. They're still on the top of their game. They're still really good. They're still coming off great victories. But they're not the way they once were. They're not that young spring chicken anymore. They're not at the um, um, in the beginning of their prime. They're more towards going towards the ending of their prime. And even though it's still going to happen, I strongly feel it's just sad that we're still hearing situations like this come up. And where we're not going to be able to hear, or I mean, excuse me, we're not going to be able to see um, fights like this take place. I really wish these guys would have learned from the Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather situation. Like, yeah, sure, I promise, guarantee that they got a lot of money. You know, Floyd probably got a shitload of money. So did Manny Pacquiao for that buildup. Six years it took to build up. But I promise you that's not the way to go because how many people go out there and say, hey, that was the best fight we've ever seen. That was the most memorable fight we've ever seen. Unfortunately, nobody talks about that fight. Nobody. As a matter of fact, they say that's the fight that almost destroyed boxing, if not did destroy boxing. So, sure, could, they could be selfish and say, you know what, I don't care about the fans. I just want to get as much money as I can. But at the end of the day, I promise you guys, no one's going to talk about you. You know, we're going to talk about how good you were, but then if we go to this fight with Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford, whoever's the main one that's holding up, um, and if you don't fight uh, Errol Spence, or if Errol Spence doesn't fight Terrence Crawford, well then, I promise you guys, you guys will not be as big of a star as you think in 10, 15 years time. Sure, you'll have your money, but will you have your legacy? Probably not as much. Because at the end of the day, it's all about, that's what it's really all about. The money's going to be there. The money's always going to be there. You know, win, lose, or draw. I remember Oscar De La Hoya. You know, he had some really bad losses to Felix Trinidad, to Sugar Shane Mosley twice, to Bernard Hopkins. He still was the biggest pay-per-view draw of all time. Well, not of all time, but back then. He was still able to get a big pay-per-view match with uh, Floyd Mayweather and a big pay-per-view match with Manny Pacquiao, regardless of those losses. So that's what just that just goes to show you that sometimes those losses don't mean anything. You're still going to get that money. You're still going to get that 20, 40, 50, 60 million dollars. So you know what I'm saying? Just like, guys, let's just stop this BS. Let's stop playing around. Let's stop this little nitpicking when it comes to negotiations, when it comes to the contracts. And let's just get this fight done for the fans. Because you are the ones that are, the ones that are missing out are the fans. And let's not risk that chance of it not going down. Um, because I believe Terrence Crawford has only fought once this year. Errol Spence has only fought once this year. So guys, you know, why are we waiting? Because eventually you're going to take another fight. And what's going to happen there is there's always a potential. Not saying it's going to happen, but there's always a potential where they could lose. And that's not something that we want. We don't want these guys. They got them both undefeated. Both look unbeatable. Both in their prime. Still in the prime. Relatively in towards the end of the prime. But still in the prime. The time is now to fight. So it is not time to nitpick. It is not time to try to find the little fine prints and the little, little details that you're going to complain about that's going to hold up this fight. That's not the time. The time is now to make this fight, and I really hope they make this fight. I would like to know what you guys think, though. What's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that the fight is going to be postponed? Do you think this fight's ever going to happen? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.